everyone, welcome back. On today's episode, we are going to learn how to paint and glitter styrofoam letters. So here's the paint that we are going to use today. It is a craft paint that we got. We got this one at Michael's actually. You can buy these Michael's, AC Moore, Hobby Lobby, any of those stores carry craft paint in these little tiny bottles. I think Martha Stewart puts out a line of them. Um, but there's lots of different types that you can choose from. And today we're going to be using silver because then we are going to use silver glitter. So the way that we do it is we first paint the back and the sides. And then once we paint the back and the sides, then we glitter the front. So let's just get started with the painting. I'll speed it up a little bit so that you don't have to watch me paint the whole thing. But um, let's just get started with the painting. Um, the other thing is I recommend that you use a spongy brush, little sponge tip brush. It's really good for getting in between the letters and it, it uh, soaks up the paint good. So it's, um, it's really easy to paint in between all of the letters because there are a lot of little spaces that you'll need to paint in. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to paint the back of my piece here, my name, which is, today is Ralfetta. Okay, so what I do is I take my craft paint and I'm just going to pour it onto, I just have a little piece of styrofoam here, but you can pour it onto a little paper plate or whatever. And then I'm just going to get my spongy brush filled with paint and I just go along the back of the letters. And I'm just going to paint along the back and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to paint the sides of the letters and that's all you have to do. It's really easy. It just is, you know, it could be a little bit time consuming and sometimes if I can't get in a little space or crevice, the spongy brushes are great because you can then just push your spongy brush into that little crevice and get it all, um, get all the paint in there. So I'm just going to take some more paint and just keep going along and painting up the back of this name. And once I paint the back, I'm going to go and I'm going to paint the sides. Okay, so it's just a very quick process of painting it. And I'll just go ahead and paint this. I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all painted up. Okay, I'm back and I have taken the time to paint um, the back and the sides of my name, Ralfetta. So I painted the back, I painted the sides, a little bit of paint got on the front, that's okay. Next, the next step is actually applying the glue so that you can then uh, sprinkle the glitter on top of it. When I use glue, I use this um, white glue that I got from Michaels. You can use Elmer's glue, you can use um, Aileen's white glue. As long as it's just white glue that you can spread on the front of the letter, you're just going to go around, put the glue on the letter, and then you can take a spongy brush. I just happen to use a piece of styrofoam, but you can use a spongy brush and just spread the glue out all over your letter. Okay. You, there's really no need to glitter the back or the sides of your name. You really just need to glitter the front of it. So, and the glitter that I picked up, I just picked up at Michael's. It's actually the bigger glitter, which I like. It spreads um, much easier. I mean, it covers much easier when you use the, the glitter that's like, I think I actually got it like in the Crayola section um, of Michael's. Everything here, you know, I purchased at Michael's. The names I um, are from Styroscript, styroscript.com. You can go onto the website and you can order your name there. These are all custom cut names. Okay, so next step for me is, and I like to do one letter at a time. I like to glitter one letter at a time. I take a spoon right here, just take a, any kind of plastic spoon. And I have a, I just have a metal tray here, like a baking tray, and then I put um, newspaper on top of it so that it's, um, I contain the glitter so it's not all over my studio. All right, so I just take the glitter on the spoon and then I just sprinkle it on top of my letter. This also makes the foam a lot sturdier because the foam is very, very fragile 
with the when it's custom cut like this because the letters are thin and then I just shake it off and you can see the difference in how pretty that letter looks with the glitter on it. So let's just go ahead and we'll finish glittering the rest of this and then we will have our name for a candelabra, centerpiece, whatever you want to use these names for, place card, you know, centerpiece that your guests see as soon as they enter into the party. Then just go along the rest of this with the white glue. And I just go along, usually letter by letter is the way I do it. I usually go one letter at a time. Spread my glue on top. So you want to be careful when you're spreading this not to drip it, the white glue down the sides of the letter. If you do happen to do that, the way you clean it up really quick and easy is you just take a toothpick and go along the inside of the letter and the toothpick will collect the glue. Nice little tip, guys. And there you have our painted and glittered name, It's As Easy As That.